A dangerous firefight early this morning in downtown LA as flames took down a century old building. KCON9's Cara Finstrom shows us why this was a tough one for firefighters. The fire here has continued to smolder for hours, and firefighters say that's because of all of the materials and merchandise stacked up inside. They will be keeping watch throughout the day and are asking folks to avoid the area. The area. That's the sound of small canisters of gas exploding. Hundreds flew through the air as fire ripped through this downtown building. I got a little closer to try to get footage, and then all of a sudden, it like looked like it was going to explode. So I started running, and these little pieces were flying by me, and I'm like, oh, yo, I hope I don't die. I thought it was like a terrorist attack. Firefighters think the canisters came from one of two smoke or vape shops within the three-story structure, and say it also appears explosions buckled the rolling steel doors. At the same time, flames shot up through the roof, threatening to collapse the century-old building. L.A. City firefighters faced similar threats last year during the Boyd Street fire just blocks away. It left 12 firefighters injured. We had a, certainly a heightened sense of awareness. We were uh, very aggressive, but very careful and calculated. Crews quickly moved back, using aerial ladders to attack the fire from the outside, then focused on protecting surrounding buildings, like this retirement residence next door. There are no reports of any fire-related injuries, but a nearby homeless encampment did burn, and five businesses were gutted. A luggage shop, gift store, import business, and those smoker vape shops. Their owners all woke up to rubble as investigators began searching for the cause of the destruction. Fire crews out here tell us they suspect these small canisters were filled with a number of gases, including butane and carbon dioxide. That's one of the things they're going to look into as this investigation moves forward. Reporting from downtown L.A., Cara Finstrom, KCAL 9 News.